I throwing you off? Nope. Didn't <laughs> think so. How you doing, young lady? The feeling that you're giving really drives me crazy. You don't have a play about the choke. I was at a Hi everyone. <laughs> I got a new camera. Can you tell? Please tell me you can tell. Let me know if this looks better or not because if not, I will be returning it because it was a lot of money. If you guys want to see a video on how to start like a successful YouTube channel, if you would call mine successful, let me know in the comments below because I've been making a list of things for that. But today, first of all, hi I'm Lainey if you're new to my channel. <laughs> I always forget to say that. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school hairstyle video for you guys. And these are all heatless, which I really need right now because if you didn't know, I bleached my hair and all of it fell off. This is so much growth compared to what it was. But let's get into the hairstyles. Okay, so we're starting off with my natural hair. I didn't do anything to it. And one of my favorite hairstyles I've been doing lately is a bandana to cover second day hair. The folding is really simple. You just fold it in half and then kind of adjust it to your head on how long you want it or not. I like when the point is tied in with the knot. Does that make sense? You can see here what I mean. I've found out when I leave the point out, I'll look more like a milkmaid and it's just a weird look. I don't know. But this bandana is just from Amazon. I can link it down below. You can find a lot of great ones at the thrift store also super easy so cute love it next we have it's almost two front braids acting like your money pieces like the tiktok e-girl trend to bleach and dye your front bangs but this is a lot more easy and less permanent way of doing it so i just section about an inch and a half of hair braid it and instead of doing an elastic at the end i just hairspray the bottom and i've figured that it stays just as well just because the braid is so small and i just use whatever hairspray my mom just had this one i didn't even buy it i normally buy ones not in an aerosol can but this is just what she had at home and i think that this is super cute adds some dimension and keeps your bangs out of your face <laughs> Next is just a bigger take on this. It's almost like highlights, but with braids. So I just braid a bunch of random sections in my hair and I keep them really small, even smaller than the front two bang pieces. And since they're so small, I find that they just stay at the end. I think that this would look so cute with curly hair. It would add a lot more dimension. You can't really see it in mine unless you're in person. And then another one, just keeping these braids in my hair. Um, I always do just a messy claw clip, but I wanted to show you guys with the braids. I think it just adds some dimension and is super cute. I also think that this braided hairstyle would show up a lot better with somebody who has highlights or lighter hair. And then I wanted to show you guys, instead of taking the time to individually take out each braid, I just take a comb and I start brushing from the bottom to the top and it works really well and it really doesn't rip out your hair or hurt or feel like you're damaging your hair, it just brushes out super easily. Next we're taking the hairspray again and I'm going to give it a good spritz all around because we're going to give my hair a slick back moment. Then I take one of these softer bristle brushes, I don't know exactly what they're called, sorry Ernie's going off in the background per usual, and I brush it so the ponytail is right at the back of my head directly in line with my eyes, and I try to finagle my front pieces so my hairline doesn't look whack because that's something I struggle with. And then I take more hairspray and I use the bristle brush again to brush over to make sure everything is super sleek and isn't moving. And then I take the claw clip and how I do this is I twist it, face it up and then fold it back down and then I'll just clip over it like that. Um, there's a million ways to clip it but this is the most foolproof I find and I like the way it turns out. If your hair is shorter you can just twist it up once and let it fall over. 
So then I'm going to take the brush again and do a low ponytail this time right at the nape of my neck. Is that the right word? Nape? And then more hairspray and then I brush over it again. Can you tell my ballerina dancer bun is coming out? I twist it around and back around the entire ponytail and then I use another ponytail just to secure it. If I wore this bun to dance, I would be shunned. But as a fashion bun, I think it's cute. Super easy and with a pair of gold hoops, it looks really cute. Then I'm gonna show you guys the Britney Spears Oops I Did It Again hairstyle that I think is so cute. I just brushed all my hair back and used a comb to get a straight middle part all the way down my head. And then I section it and I take the section that I didn't tie up and I brush it into a ponytail and I again do it straight back in line with my eyes. If you do the ponytail too far to the side, you'll just look I don't know. I don't like it. It's not the same. How you doing, young lady? The feeling that you're giving really drives me crazy. You don't have a play about the choke. I was at a loss of words first time that we spoke. You're looking for a girl that'll treat you right. Have you looking for in the daytime with a light? You might be the type if I play my cards right. I find out. And then I go ahead and do it to the other side. Wow, that transition. I've been watching too much TikTok. Then I take my one ponytail and I just braid it like normal and this one I do tie at the bottom with an elastic. Um, it will not stay just with hairspray, it's too much hair. And woohoo, transition again. There she is, Britney Spears. I had to move spots because my camera wasn't fully charged because I was too excited to start filming with it. So I'm over my plug now. And I hope these hairstyles helped you out a bit. I've been doing all of them a lot recently. I didn't want to do any that I haven't done before. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you in a few days. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I always forget that one.